Well, one of the most dramatic race finishes, starting in the most dramatic fashion, with the start being abandoned after a couple of jump starts before the start of the race. We had a couple of minutes for timeout before we got underway once more. And Carlos Cano, who came into the race looking for his second victory of the day. His lights went out, he got the whole shot, but it would be Pugliese that would lead into turn number one. But it wouldn't be long before Carlos Cano and Bike 71 and your championship leader would retaliate into turn two, making this bold and brave move on Pugliese. So Carlos Cano leading the way, he would remain in the lead until the final lap of the race when he came under threat from Valentin Moroni. Further back, we were watching out for Marco Morelli come from 28th on the grid. He would eventually find his way inside the leading group. Further back, Valentin Perot is making a move to 69. He ran off at turn number 11. Thankfully, Ryder was okay with Bellon and Pugliese got close for comfort at Pedroza corner. That sat up David Gonzalez. He'd be eventually shuffled back after another moment at turn six, but he'd fight his way back brilliantly to find himself in the podium battle. Valentin Peroni made a move up the inside, clean and clinical at the final corner before he'd eventually find his way past Pugliese. David Gonzalez fought back, but then almost tagged the back of Pugliese into turn number six as we saw another crash further back. Very fast off, but thankfully we did see the rider walking away. Number six of Kayet will be back, we hope, for Aragon in a few weeks' time. But on the final lap, it was Peroni that made that incredible move on the inside of Cano. But then Cano fought back immediately. We did see a bit of contact in Moto2 earlier on. We are hoping to be as clean as you like through turn number seven. And it was. Cano was back at the forefront of the race. Jesus Rios ran off at the final corner, but it was Peroni up the inside with a block pass. And Gonzalez trying to take an opportunity to make contact with Cano side by side, elbow to elbow. It was Biagi Rossi still from Suzuka 01. But it would be Valentin Peroni who carried the momentum. And we crossed the line, we thought, for victory. But it was Cano that took victory at the end and our timing monitored, it was a dead heat. There was nothing to split them as Carlos Cano took his fifth victory of the season.